welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here today. I'm bringing you this review for PinkyPromise.com. Go to the Pinky Promise website and sign up to receive their emails and you'll get a code to save 30%. You can also email support at PinkyPromise.com if you ever have any weird related questions. So today we're gonna to take a look at a newer Beltra style. This is Tea Rose and the color on this one is Cayenne with Ginger Root. I have had some struggles with this wig so I will share that in just a moment. Okay, let's jump in and start talking about T-Rose. So, T-Rose is a cute style, but I have to say, these have been the most difficult bangs I have ever had to deal with on a wig. I finally have them in a place where I feel like I can even film this review for you all, and I feel like I should not move my head. <laughs> because I am so afraid that they are going to move and be all messed up again and be a big nightmare again. So the bangs are, it's a middle part and the bangs are supposed to go across the forehead or normally in that case, bangs are easy to, you know, sweep over to the side. Now it's of course not uncommon that when you have a new synthetic wig right out of the box that has bangs, that you may have to go in and use a little bit of heat to straighten them out. And I try to do as little as possible as I always tell you all to these wigs, but this one, I couldn't even deal with it. So straight out of the box, this is what she looked like. Yeah, I was so frustrated. And I'm gonna pop in some video here of me in my bathroom before I film this review, trying to deal with these bangs. Okay, so this is where we're at right now with these bangs. I am just totally struggling. I mean, look at this. So I have all the bangs uh, isolated here to the middle. These are all the shortest hairs. As far as what I can find in this style, I seem to be going into the longer hairs. Um, so as you can see, the bangs are cut kind of weird. It's just this very middle hair. And then you even have these longer layers that are sort of laying over the bangs that probably needed to be incorporated into the bangs. So that's kind of odd um, in my opinion, you know? So I've got, you know, these longer hairs would actually be part of these bangs. So perhaps that's a flaw in this cut, I don't know. But so I've isolated this, these as well as I can. I do have a little bit of the longer hair in here. And I have just been going over them with the flat iron and trying and trying and trying to get them to behave. It's getting slightly better. <laughs> it was definitely worse over here on this left-hand side. Sorry, the fibers get so hot, I have to let go of them but I just cannot get these to not go towards the right. Do you see how they wanna, they wanna like side sweep over to the right? It's just so weird and it's so frustrating. Ugh. It's getting a little better, but not much. I mean, this just isn't, I don't know. To me, this is what makes, this is the kind of thing that in my wig journey has made wig wearing irritating and, and I don't want your wig journey to be irritating. So that's why I'm just being totally honest with you about the struggles I'm having with these bangs. I mean, these bangs, it just seems to me like they just aren't cut right. And I don't know if it's just this one wig or if it's all of them. And so I just have to be honest with you about what I'm seeing. So what I was hoping to achieve was would be to get like at least a curtain bang but this one side is just crazy. I cannot get them to go over to the side. And I don't wanna take out my curl here, you know? So I'm trying to just focus on the bang and I just cannot. I've tried every, and I've tried like twirling on the other. <laughs> I just cannot. Like this side is doing much, this side has always been better, but this side has just been horrible. I just cannot get these to calm down. Ah, seriously, this is so frustrating. 
Okay, y'all, so this is my compromise. That looks weird still, I'm sorry. I'm just, I got these to go over to the side and kind of blend in with that side. And then I got these to finally cooperate, like going over here. I mean, maybe if they were trimmed, these are definitely behaving better, but these over here are just crazy. So I don't know, I just, I want to warn you about this wig before you purchase it because I'm, you know, I don't know if this is happening with everybody that's purchasing this wig or, if, you know, if, if I just have one that's got really difficult bad bangs or what, but, um, you know, just, <sighs> I just want to be honest with you guys and I just want you to see the struggles that I'm experiencing. And I mean, look at this, like that part looks so strange. I. I wouldn't be comfortable going out with my part like that. This just doesn't look right. So these either need a lot more work and obviously trimming, um, but I just want you guys to understand that out of the box, I don't think that these bangs are gonna work. Okay, so all of that got me to here. <laughs> where I do feel like I finally got them to look decent, although they are not, they are not working with the middle part. You know, I had to go over to the side with them and actually I just spray them with synthetic safe hairspray. They're kind of glued into place right now. I mean, and like I said, that's why I am afraid to move, to shake my head <laughs> or anything. Ah, not a fan of these bangs. And the reason why I want to tell you all this is because I just want to be honest with you about the struggles that you might see. These were the kind of bangs that I'm not going to lie. They almost made me cry. <laughs> I was so frustrated. I wanted to take the wig and like throw it across the room. I was like, forget it. But you know, here's the issue. So if you buy this wig and you have to work this much with these bangs, you're not going to be able to return it. And what if you can't get the bangs to work for you, you know? So um, that's why I wanted to be honest with you about the struggles that I've had with this bang. So from there, we'll go ahead and jump in and I will do a turn so you can see her all the way around and we will talk about her specs and everything. So here we are from the front. My left. The back. My right. And back to the front. Okay, so... Uh, like I said, she is a lace front with a middle part. The middle part is really tight, so I don't think you're going to be able to see much of the mono there. This is a rooted collar, so, um, but it is there. Uh, I'm so afraid to show you the lace front because I just don't want to mess up these bangs. Okay, so here's the lace front, sneaky peek. And then I'm going to put the bangs back down as carefully as possible. <laughs> I literally, I'm telling you, I was, I have been so frustrated with these bangs. I don't want to touch them right now. All right, so I'll show you about the coverage around the face. So as far as the fit, this is fitting me kind of big, um, really big for a bell dress. And every once in a while, these come along that are really big on my petite head. So uh, the adjusters need to be pulled in. I haven't even had time to do that. I've been struggling with these darn bangs. Um, and it's a little big ear to ear. So just overall, it's average and average plus. And as, as you most of you know, I am petite. So it is a little big. So for petite wig wearers, this one, you know, you're definitely going to have to pull in the adjusters. I would tape down the lace front to keep it in place. And then I think I would feel like it was secure. It's not like, um, I can feel a little, the cap a little bit on the back of my ears. So, you know, it's just kind of generally big, but it is considered to be an average size wig anyway. And, and so this will be average and average plus in my opinion. So, okay, so measurements. These bangs are uh, four inches. Um, they seem longer than that to me. Uh, on the sides, we have eight inches to 12 inches. And back and uh, at the nape, we have an eight inch measurement. Wait, why she's coming in at 4.9 ounces. Okay, I will pop her off and we can look at her interior cap construction. Okay, I'm trying to show you all that part. You know, it's just a middle part. It's very narrow as you'll see when I show you the inside of the cap. So there's a little close up of that color. So, okay, so there is that narrow middle part and then we've just got closed lace around that and it's uh, no permatease you know very low density so there's your lace front and as you can see there's not you know 
really just in this middle part is where you have room to work with those bangs if you know they just want to go to the side or whatever so and it does extend down onto the ear tabs a little bit but it's very narrow going through here so i don't think you're going to get a whole lot of styling benefit for that but it does give you that natural appearance so we've got the soft felt ear tabs open wefted cap the pole adjusters this one does have an extended soft felt nape. So these caps, Beltrest caps are very, very stretchy. And like I said, this is big on my petite size head and there's plenty of stretch in the circumference. So let's try putting her back on because now the bangs are gonna be crazy again. And this is why I'm saying, be, be warned that this, might be a, this wig might be a struggle. These are gonna look crazy. Okay, so try to figure out where the hair's going because of course we're supposed to have a middle part. These are obviously too long, so they need to, and this is where the wig should be on my head. So, but they just don't even want to side sweep that easily. See, to me, they should go in a curtain bang or, or they might not go in a curtain bang right out of the box, but I should be able to use my hot air brush or some steam. I think this, the, what these bangs need is they need a complete steaming to take all the style out of them and then they need to be um, styled from there, maybe. But I just still think there's a weirdness with the cut, with these long layers that are kind of look like they should be part of the bangs. I don't know. It's, it's just a little different. Okay, so let's take a look at this pretty color. So this is the cayenne with ginger root. So you've got some really beautiful auburns and you have a dark uh, root there. So really, really pretty. Looks really, really pretty with the waves and T-rows. Okay, so the description for this is a dynamic color with a deep auburn base, burgundy, red mahogany, and cherry with the darkest brown rooting. So, so I believe this, is, this looks to me to be their uh, number two root it's either a two or a four they I, they didn't give me the numbers for this color so i'm not sure but but you can see all those auburns they all blend together i don't necessarily see like a highlight or anything but you can definitely see what they're talking about cherry burgundy just really really pretty auburn your rooting so that root's going to be you know anywhere you separate the hair for styling you know you're going to see that root color too okay, so here is the color with just the overhead light in the room still looking at you know the color with natural um, artificial light we'll look go outside and look at it in natural light in just a moment So just about to walk outside. So this is just natural light, no artificial light, uh, window light coming through the door. Okay, so this is under my patio cover. I'll show you the lace front <laughs> with the fragile bangs. So we've got overcast skies, which are perfect for looking at shades. Okay, we can look at glasses and styling and all that. So she is easy to tuck behind the ears. Again, I'm being oh so careful with my bangs. <laughs> all these bangs <gasps> ah! telling you they are such a struggle okay so glasses are easy with her of course those bangs should be you know down uh, you know close to your forehead or just side swept off to the side glasses go up on the head she has low density I'm not feeling any permatees which is very typical of Beltras so headband see they're starting to return to their look at that 
This is what I'm talking about. They're starting to go back to their old ways. Okay, just cooperate for the rest of the video, please. <laughs> okay, so headband. Looks cute. If you can get your bangs to cooperate, that is. You know, the bangs should be laying over here nicely along the edge of the wig, in my opinion. They certainly shouldn't be starting to go crazy again. I mean, how much heat do these things need? That's just crazy. Okay, anyway, headband. And then, of course, she has the length for, you know, half up, half down to pull those sides back into a clip and she has the link for a little pony and she does have the extended nape which is nice okay yeah so other than that you might have to use a clip and pull your bangs out of the way <laughs> She has a lace front, so you can do that. So that's kind of nice. Okay, well, I hope you appreciate my honesty about these bangs. Um, I just want you all to know what you could encounter with any of these wigs that I am reviewing. So thank you to Pinky Promise for sending this wig to review for you all today. There will be purchase information. You know what? I've had it. Ha, huh. there we go. There will be purchase information down below in the drop down box under this video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. And until next time, don't forget, you're absolutely beautiful. Bye. <laughs>